Hello guys and welcome back to Combat and it's time for another part in this tutorial series and today we're going to check if you can stand on the plateau when you're hanging on the edge. So we start with creating a new function and we are going to call this public void check for plateau. And within this uh, thing we're going to use uh, function we are going to use two ray guest uh, one we are going to use if you are uh, well fit uh, at that place and the other one we're going to um, do to see if it's on the plateau or if you are uh, not on the plateau but if you are uh, on an edge of a wall and you can just climb to the other way like here so we start with uh, creating a raycast hit for this and we call it hit 2 and a factor 3 direction which is going to be transform.up plus transform.forward divided by 2 so this means that you are if you see it from the position of this character it is um, sending a raycast from this position something like this to see if it can fit there so if it will hit something it will think oh i cannot stand here and it will just keep on hanging but when you are actually uh, if it it doesn't see like uh, an obstacle or whatever it is going to climb towards it so we're going to do here the well, the raycast and the raycast is going to be with uh, this mark so because it means like we don't want that it is going to hit anything so physics dot raycast and then hand trends dot position plus the transform dot rotation multiplied by the vertical hand offset well it's of course going towards the direction the output is hit too we're not going to do anything with it but otherwise we couldn't uh, put so much information within this uh, raycast and also it's got a length of 1.5 units and also only on the spot layers and from here we are going to do two raycasts or actually one raycast but we're going to do two different ways um, and it means on where the position of your target point is going to be so first we're going to say of course it is climbing uh, towards the plateau but if you actually hit something from uh, from above so we're going to start a raycast at the position where this raycast is going to end we're going to do it downwards and if it's going to hit something you know there's a plateau here and you can stand on that and you can even make it more advanced like uh, but it uh, cannot hit uh, it very close towards uh, uh, towards like the end of this raycast because this uh, raycast ends in the air and uh, and so we can make that if you are if that is also hitting something that you still cannot climb towards that point because otherwise you will still not fi uh, fit in there but for now again performance and to make sure that everything uh, works is this thing the best balance so we got here a physic.raycast and you start at the hand trends oh, oops hand trends dot position that's like the start but we are going to say that it will have the direction multiplied by 1.5 so the start is going to be at the end of this position and we are going to say that uh, the direction is of course minus factor 3 dot up the output is going to be hit 2 again but we're not going to use it the length is 1.7 and if, again only for the spot layers and if it's the darkened point 
is going to be. So the point where we're going to go towards is hand trends dot position plus the direction multiplied by 1.5 and if it doesn't hit anything it means like you are in the air and we want that this a little bit closer towards the player because otherwise if you are hanging on this edge here and it will send a raycast like this and it will just send a raycast down here and we'll see it isn't hitting anything but if you're still going towards this point you will just go towards it you will see here oh you cannot hang anywhere and we're just going to uh, turn on the uh, third person user controller again and whatever and the rigid body and just fall down you don't want that to happen you actually want that when you are from this position trying to find a new position and you're hitting the w key you are actually just going up here and down here again and hang on this edge and that's what uh, we're going to change here and this is going to be uh, the hand trends again dot position but now uh, again with direction multiplied by 1.5 but we're going to do it minus the trends from the rotation multiplied by a new factor 3 of 0 minus dot 2 f so minus dot 2 units so it's a little bit closer to us and it's a little bit higher uh, it's a little bit lower I mean and a little bit uh, closer towards the player then also uh, we're going to do a few things we're going to set the target normal which is going to be minus transform dot forward and we're going to set two uh, from the animator we're going to set two bulls the very first one is going to be from the crouch whoops and it's going to be true and the other one is going to be from on ground and it's just how it works with the uh, current um, oops on ground of the current animations we are using and the current variables of it and that's just how it works best um, again I didn't create any animation really for the system so that's why it looks a little bit weird um, we also need to put right here somewhere we said we still had to fill in something and let me just see if I can find it um, let me just see in which function it is again and a climb function you can just go towards there uh, here um, here is that if your current sword isn't climbing towards point climbing towards climbing sword dot climbing towards point you are going to check for a plateau so what this actually means that you first check for a spot like can you go up and if you are not uh, be able to go up you are going to uh, see if you can go towards the plateau so let me just test it right now and see if it works and if it isn't we still need to change something but I really hope it will all work um, and also hope, yeah there it is so we just going up going up again and it's standing on this plateau and it also should be able to see here it's not an edge and we still need to change that um, oh I already know why we didn't change that um, the reason is because we still need to do the check for the end of a plateau but uh, in the end the reason uh, it still works for what it has to do currently so it just uh, isn't falling down at this point so I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please leave a like or a subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time with another part in this tutorial series. And well, if you want more of this tutorial series, please leave a like or a subscribe. Bye.